Hello everyone, T-Man978. Right now we're going to be transforming Fans Toys FT53 Parkour from Robot Mode to Vehicle Mode and then Vehicle Mode back to Robot Mode. If you need to see my opinions and everything else that you need to know about this figure, I have a full chill review on this channel. I'll have a link in the description as soon as that's available, if it's not available simultaneously. The link will be at the end of the video, or it will be in the description. They'll be in both places, to be honest. But, the first thing I'm going to do, since I have not posed, get this out the hand. I'm going to shut the hand and rotate it backward. Straighten his body up but rotate this hand backward as well. Get the head straight. I'm gonna unlatch these hinges right here. To get that loose. Get the arms out to the side. Loosen these right here. That's tabbed into the front. And there's a smaller tab right here that goes inside of that little bottom loop. Are my fingers. I wash my hands a ton of times a day. That's why it looks dry. And I, I don't feel like messing with it. Anyway, that's going to make this drop down. We can mess with this a little bit later. Actually, we can go ahead and fold these up. But basically, get these out of the way. And now, this ab joint right there. We'll get loose. It sits up here. It's gonna need to come back here. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the waist now and take these parts right here and go ahead and bring these down and bring that like kind of like that. But up here, no, before we, before we mess with that, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take these arms and the back of the elbow, that panel opens up and we can open it all the way up. Then we can accordion the vice up in there and rotate things this way. I'm going to do that on this side. Getting this separated is a bit hard. Get that down and accordion this in there. Rotate it this way. This hinge right here that the shoulder is on needs to like kind of come out and then lift up. It needs to continue lifting as far back as you possibly can. Now the shoulder, make sure that stays there because this is so tight. The shoulder needs to come down and this peg goes into a groove on his side. But we can lift this up and do that same thing. Put that into a groove on the side right here. Now on a bring everything out like this. And then there's a slider right here on both sides. Pull that until it stops. We can put the head down into there. And now we can go ahead and shut this over this, shut that over that. This hinge I was messing with, that's just going to keep flopping until later. But basically, once we get things like this, we can go ahead and lift these pieces up. and rotate it around like this. Lift this up, rotate it around like this. If you can't get these arms to stay straight, they, it kind of just loosely pegs in there. You didn't pull this hinge right there down far enough. But basically we need to overlap that
and now these things are here. This lifts up on this tiny little hinge and folds that way. And I'm gonna plug in this one right here on his left side first for the left side of his car. And lift this hinge up. Rotate this on the ball joint and kind of overlap this. This hinge needs to bend right there. So basically, getting this to stay together is kind of difficult. But that needs to come down, plug into there, and then we can get this to be like that. Make sure these stay out and make sure these stay plugged into there. But you may be adjusting the, <laughs> adjusting this the whole time to be honest with you. These could stay where they are for right now. But um, we can move this back. This kind of, it's elongated. We need to like shove it up on a slider right here until it's into that orientation. Now we can try to get this hinge to stay where that's at. But basically, once we get this on that slider going, we could bend the spoiler up in that direction. And this basically plugs in back here. And up here at the windshield, you need to bend this down and get these pegs underneath of the roof. And we could just leave that like it is for now. Let's do the legs, which definitely look super complicated on the official manual <laughs> video. Well, basically, I'm gonna start on this one. We can open this up, which Basically, you see how this window plugs up under there and this peg actually sticks into a hole that's right there. Open that up and open the window. At this point, it feels like you're gonna break it, but it goes up. We can open that all the way. We can open this up and we can open the wheel. The front bumper now can come out of its position, revealing this and plug into there, right there. As you're plugging that in on this side, this piece clips into its place. The leg. We need to, on the side of the leg, open it up like this. Then we need to use this little panel right here. That's basically a filler. Bring that down. Make sure it gets past this stuff down here. Then we can shut the leg back to how it was basically. Now this hinge right here, basically rotate the leg so you can clear that and get everything down here. There's a little panel right here. And we can open that up and shut it over this. Once you shut this, it is, this is one of the most hardest connections ever. It is so difficult to get that separated. So if you have a spudger, keep your spudger handy. Let's do that again. We're going to open this back panel or the panel that's on the back of the leg and lift up this. We're going to open this panel up, pull down the wheel. We're going to bring this bumper down and I showed you that on the other side, but let's show you this over here. It kind of needs to get past there. And now the leg needs to use a sort of side of the leg needs to open up 
this filler panel needs to come down as you're bringing the leg down and get past all of this down here. Then we can go ahead and shut the leg, keeping basically the thigh is in the same orientation. The shin is in the same orientation that it was always in. Now we need to rotate this until it can clear that little notch. Bend it past and all the way up like that. Open this panel and shut this panel. And on this side for me, definitely, I need a spudger. And we can bring this together like that. Make sure the door stays open. And we need to get these two plastic bags up underneath of the hood. And we need to basically line these up. This is one of the most difficult maneuvers for me in this transformation, getting these lined up. Get that lined up on the one side. We get it lined up on the other side. It's like you kind of like have to bend it while you push it down. Once we get that lined up, we can straighten things and kind of shove it forward. And if this still is together, and this windshield kind of moved, I'm gonna straighten that up. Now we should be able to get this up and I waited because this needs to clip into here while another peg goes into this back circle right there. And another peg goes into the window, but basically snap it in at the bottom and it seems to grab. Snap it in at the bottom. And everything grabs. And now, with this big hole in the front, we can grab that. But, plug the doors into place as best you can. And now we can shove a little bit more because typically these always come loose every single time. But give everything a good squeeze. Make sure that this is together. Make sure everything is pegged in which it seems to be. And here's one thing that I was worried about. These little things, they don't tab into anything. Up here, it doesn't look like. And this panel is getting loose. This is like my third transformation. So, fans toys. Gotta love them. But if it rolls, which it does, everything is together. You can keep continuously looking at it to make sure everything is plugged into your liking. This isn't in my review because this is separate, but there should have been something to me to grab this or, or for this to plug into, but that is what it is now. Bonus complaint for my review in my transformation video. But he is a car. Now it's time to take parkour from vehicle mode back to robot mode. So what I like to do is just like squeeze like that to get the doors to open. Get the doors open. They kind of like elongate, but basically get them open like that. Then we could take or make sure we keep wiggling until this is separated. We can bend that up like this a bit. Maybe not bend it all the way yet. And separate 
the windshield up here from the hood. So kind of like bend it inward because these pegs go, these pegs right here go up under it. Once we do that, you should be able to reach in here a bit better because the way this connects is kind of difficult to get it to dislodge, but there are pegs that go into the holes up here. We need to get that separated. While pulling up on the spoiler. You know what, pull up on the spoiler first, then get that separated. Now we should be able to, on this hinge up in here, The way these clips work are, is very good. Too good, to be honest. <laughs> we need to bend that down, get this up here. And now pull this back up, rotate this down here, and then bring these hooks to grab that windshield and keep this like that. These right here, now that we don't have all that stuff in the way, we can bend it that way to get that clip out of its connection and bring that that way. Get that out the connection, bring it that way. And you know what, while we're at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the waist now to get that out of the way. And I'm gonna start on the legs. Separate the legs right there or the feet, whatever you want to call it. But we can grab here, pull that out of the peg system and lift this hinge up to there. Gonna do the same thing over here. Lift this hinge up to there. Now this part is always difficult for me. The way this connects right here, and look how dry my hand is. I hate stuff like that. But anywho, getting this unclipped from there is kind of difficult because it's in there so good, but split that open, open it, shut that. I'm gonna just continue on this leg. This hinge right here, we can just go ahead and lift that up, to be honest. And I'm going to open up this connection right here. Get that open, pull his thigh up out of there and get this piece that was down, it put itself in its position. But basically we need to shut it and make that peg go into the hole that's right here. That needs to go into there and there's a peg here that goes into that hole. But basically, get everything to shut. And down under the foot, we can close the wheel. We can shut this window. We shut this, and then we can shut the window behind that right there. It locks like behind a piece of plastic, but one leg is done. And honestly, what I'm noticing, the more I transform this, the more the knee feels loose. But same stuff over here. If you have a spudger, it will be easier. Luckily, I have some semblance of thumbnail, and that's how I got this apart on the other side. Jesus Christ. I got a cramp in my finger trying to get, get that away without breaking it. But open that up, shut this. Holy moly. That hinge I was talking about before. Lift that up. 
like you might want to pull the leg out like this while you're lifting this up so you can clear some of that but basically you don't have to twist the foot around and rotate like they showed in the official manual you just need to pull it out and get it just straight up because the leg is going to basically still be in the same orientation open this up which is another hard maneuver. Especially if this is in the way, make sure that this is clearing that, make sure this is clearing. Then you should be able to open that up, get the leg out. Put this into that orientation while closing the leg together. Now under here, we can shut the wheel, shut this part, close this, which is very tight. It feels like you're gonna break it every time and then get that to tab into here while this is going under there. And now the, <laughs> the legs are done. Now up here, we need to separate these, get these untabbed. Get those untabbed. Basically, these can come around and rotate like that. Get this to come around. Actually, before we rotate it like that. We need this. We need to close this and then get the arm out of the way and rotate that into place. Rotate that into place. And honestly, these didn't even interfere with that. But I wanted to make sure that I had these rotated into place because if you forget that, it'll be bad later. <laughs> Basically, the head can come up and the arm. Remember this, they slide. When we get the arms into this orientation, we can squeeze it to bring it together. Get the arms up out the way. We can rotate this bar right here beyond that point. Rotate that beyond that point. And we can bring This hinge right here, that's sort of like an eye crunch. Bring that forward. Bring everything flat. Now we need to get this up here while we swing. this down and around like that. And these will plug, plug into there while there's another little tiny red peg that goes into this bottom loop down, of, down the bottom. So make sure that that's all lined up on one side and get that tabbed in to keep that in place. Then we could do the same deal over here Get that tab then and on the sides and inside of that loop. The arms are pretty much obvious. Get the shoulder in its orientation. Stretch it out. Shut this door. And then rotate the elbow to its facing position. And rotate the hand. 
get the shoulder where that needs to be. Stretch out the arm, shut that door, and rotate the fist. Good lord. He is done. Um, this is low. You could like kind of push this up if you want it to be higher and adjust the, the clip at the bottom. But basically, he is a robot again. If this video has helped you in any type of way, make sure you don't leave it out. Clicking like, make sure you follow me for more of these, because there are going to be more of these. Until next time, D-Man978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.